marginalism principle yes one of the key tool in microeconomics analysis is marginalism what is margin it's addition or additional unit contributed to total due to one contribution of new unit so what is marginalism marginalism is the change brought in total due to one additional unit i'll explain this with an example let's say i am a producer so i sold 100 units and i got 700 rupees for that when i sold the next unit so i got total 705 rupees so what does this mean to you that because of now the one additional unit there is a increase of 5 rupees in my total collection total revenue so now as a producer i have to decide shall i be happy to get 5 additional rupees with one additional subscription because for 100 products sold i am getting 700 rupees which means 7 rupees per product now with this addition my revenue is not increasing by the same level the change in the uh, revenue is not of 7 rupees but 5 rupees now it is my choice that shall i go for that 101 unit sales so this marginalism principle is useful to manufacturers to buyers and it's overall it's a very essential tool so what does this marginalism does it's a study of economic variable through changes so how does it help let's say when i am a manufacturer i sold 100 units and i am getting 700 rupees when i go for the next additional unit that is 101th unit and my total collection is 705 rupees so with one extra sale that change in the sale of through one unit i am getting change in the revenue of 5 rupees and that is a margin due to one product after 100 units so a lot of economic decision shall i go for the next sales because per unit sales revenue is reducing so is it worth while to go ahead or not that decision can be derived by the manufacturer similarly buyer also decides on similar concept that if he is getting four units at 100 rupees the fifth unit he is getting at 120 rupees so that additional fifth unit is just costing him 20 rupees so his margin for the next unit or change in the price paid for the next unit is reduced by 5 so is it worth a decision for going for the five units or just four units are good enough can be decided by a buyer also so nutshell summary marginalism is a key tool in microeconomic analysis lot of microeconomic important decisions are based on marginalism principle marginalism is basically a change brought in total due to one additional unit well marginalism is basically a study of economic variables through changes and last but not the least marginalism is a very essential tool for producers and buyers as well